People can relate to the world in two ways. Assimilation, which is done by simply acquiring or using things, and by socialization, which is a more wholesome approach of relating to self and others. In general terms, people relate to the outside world either non-productively or productively. First, let's focus on non-productive orientations. Non-productive orientations suggest strategies that fail to move people closer to self-realization. In short, these characteristics keep people from achieving their best potential. There are four types of non-productive character orientations. Receptive, exploitative, hoarding, and marketing characters. The first type are people with receptive characters. Receptive characters believe that the source of all good lies outside of themselves. They want others to shower them with love and ideas. Some negative qualities of receptive characters include passivity, submissiveness, and a lack of self-confidence. On the other hand, their positive qualities may include loyalty, acceptance, and trust. Next, we have the exploitative characters. Exploitative characters also believe that the source of all good lies outside of themselves, but they aggressively take the good rather than just passively receiving it. So they are simply go-getters. In their relationships, they are likely to use cunning or force to take what they want. For example, an exploitative man may fall in love with a woman simply because he wishes to gain material things from her. I mean, the academe. Um, exploitative people prefer to plagiarize rather than to simply create their own ideas. Um, negative qualities of exploitative people include being conceited, arrogant, and seducing. On the positive side, exploitative people are impulsive, proud, charming, and self-confident. Next, we have the hoarding characters. Hoarding characters seek to save which they have already obtained, holding everything inside and never letting go of anything. Hoarding characters keep money, feelings, and thoughts to themselves. In relationships, they will tend to preserve it rather than allowing it to change and grow. They tend to live in the past and they are repelled by anything new. The hoarding character may sound like Freud's anal characters, but Fromm believes that the hoarding characters are not a result of sexual drives, but rather an interest in all that is not alive, that including the feces. Negative traits of the hoarding personality include rigidity, sterility, obstinacy, compulsivity, and a lack of creativity. Positive characteristics, on the other hand, include orderliness, cleanliness, and punctuality. And the fourth and last type of non-productive orientation is the marketing character. People with a marketing character see themselves as being in constant demands of modern comers. They are basically empty vessels waiting to be filled with whatever that is marketable. Negative characteristics of the marketing characteristics include aimlessness, opportunism, inconsistency, and wastefulness. On the other hand, the positive qualities of marketing characters include adaptability, open-mindedness, and generosity. And that concludes the non-productive orientations. Now, let's move on to the other way people relate to the world. The productive orientation. The productive orientation is considered the most healthy of all the character types simply because they actively work toward positive freedom. The productive orientation has three dimensions. Productive work, productive love, and productive thinking or reasoning. In productive work, Healthy people value work as a means of creative self-expression. In 
other words, they are not working to exploit others, but they are working to be able to produce their necessities. Next. Productive love is characterized by care, responsibility, respect, and knowledge. Healthy people then possess biophilia, which is a vigor and enthusiasm for life. They want to influence people through love and reason, not by force. Fromm believes that love of others and love of self must work hand in hand, but self-love must come first. You cannot give what you don't have. And lastly, is productive thinking or reasoning. Productive thinking or reasoning cannot be separated from productive love and productive work. Healthy people see themselves as they are and not as how they want themselves to be or in self-delusion. So all in all, Fromm believes that healthy people survive on their ability to receive things from other people, to take things when appropriate, and to work, love, and think productively. And that concludes Character Orientations.